Good morning, folks. You know, it's my privilege to bring hope to your heart through God's word to wherever you are listening. It, it's an amazing, it's amazing to be speaking from the source of life. You know, it's always been a blessing. This, this morning devotional is entitled God, Our Way Maker. If we are honest right now, we are in a situation where we can't help ourselves. It almost looks as if there is no hope. But what I want to say this is to you this morning, God is our way maker. Let us pray. Our Father who is in heaven, we acknowledge you for your children. And Lord, as you are the God that make way for your people, in this crisis, I come to you, Lord, and ask that you point us to the way because God, you are the way maker. So Lord, I pray that you speak to the hearts of every hearers, encourage their hearts, bring hope to their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. A songwriter referred to God. A songwriter referring to God, he said, you are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. My friends, listeners, do you believe that God is a way maker? Do you believe that he is a miracle worker, a promise keeper? Do you believe that God is a light in this darkness, this COVID-19? Do you believe that? And these are questions we are to ponder in a time like now. Is God the God is he the God or is he the light in the darkness? I want to point or draw our focus to a passage I've been studying to Second Chronicles for quite some while now and I believe it has been a blessing to my heart and I believe God is really speaking to this passage. In, in Second Chronicles 20 he says, And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other and, and, and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Josephat to battle. Then came then there came out some that told Josephat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea of this side Syria. And behold, they be in Azazan the Tsar, Tamar, which is Enjadai. And verse 3 said, And Joseph had feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast toward all Judah. You know, in our time and now, the thing that we need to do right now is to set our face to seek the Lord. You know, Joseph had, when, when, he, when he feared because of these people that came out to battle against Judah, he was the king of Judah at the time. And he set himself to seek the Lord, which means he set his face to seek the Lord. And not only that, he proclaimed a fast toward all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together, in verse 4, to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the city of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. You know, one of the things that we need to do in a time like now, we need to, to, we need to seek God. Let God know that we need his help. You know, verse 5 says, And Joseph had stood in the congregation of Judea and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord our God of our, of, of our fathers, art thou, not, art, thou, art not thou God in heaven and rulest not thou over all the kingdom of the Edens? And in thy hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand thee. And these are truth that Joseph is saying about God. He believed God was the way maker for, for Judah. And he goes on to say in verse 7, Art thou, Are not thou our God, O Jivis, who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy, pe thy people Israel, and gave it, to thy seed, gave it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever? And, and, and they dwell therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying. This is verse 9, and this is very important. It says, 
if when evil come upon, come upon us as a sword, judgment or pestilence or famine, we shall stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house. And I've cried unto thee in our, in our afflictions, when then thou will hear and help. You know, that's the truth, you know. God is waiting for us to seek his face. Because this COVID-19 is, 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 is it's, 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 it's evident that it's taking a lot of life. And it, it, is, it is going to cause a lot of us to be fearful. But note what Joseph had to do. As soon as he feared, he didn't wait a minute. He said, the Bible said, he set himself to seek the Lord. And proclaim a fast throughout all Judea. You know, what our nation needs right now is not some people who are trying to, to create a, a solution. Or trying to find it. A solution to this problem what we need to do as God's people is to set our face to see the Lord believe it or not you know one of the, one of one of one of one of one this is very interesting it's a very relevant passage because this passage is not only speaking for the sake of just speaking but it is speaking to our current issue verse 12 says of this um, um same passage I only have about a few minutes so verse 12 says, O all our God, will not will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us, neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon upon thee. Wow, he's saying, you know, in verse 9, 12, these nations, the Ammonites and the Moabites, and the other nations that came alongside them, he's saying that we don't have the might to fight against this. And it's the same for us. We don't have the, the equipment, the, 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 the different solution to, to solve this COVID-19. But what did we have? We have a God that solves this problem, that can solve this COVID-19. But if we want God's attention, if we believe that God is the way maker, or our way maker, if you believe that God is your way maker, what you need to do, what I need to do, is to set our face to seek the Lord our God. Verse 13 says, And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. The all people in Judah was seeking the face of the Lord. Down to the even the children, wives, everyone was seeking the face of the Lord. And then this is this is this is a confirmation that God bring you know. Um as I, I love the word of God, you know. In verse 14 he says, Then upon Jazil, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, and the son of Jael, the son of Matthiah, a Levite of the son of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Verse 15 says, And he said, Hearken he, all Judea, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king of Josephat, thus saith the Lord unto you. Be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. This COVID-19 battle is not ours, but the God, God's battle. God is our way maker. God is that shepherd that keep his promise, keep his covenant. To the sheep and we are a sheep and i believe god has not forgetting us verse 16 gives a command he says tomorrow go ye down against them behold they come up by the cliff of zizi sorry for some of my pronunciation and he said he shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of jeru verse 17 very important he says he shall not need to fight in this battle set yourselves you what God said? You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judea and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. That's what the man of God tell them. And they did exactly so. And you know, verse 18 said, and you know, just to say in verse 17, you know, a lot of time we think that we have a solution. By the way, this world right now, a lot of world leaders, they think that they have the solution to this COVID-19. But they have failed. 
A lot of time we are too self-sufficient. We rely on self. But I'm glad Joseph was a man of God. He set an example for us today that he set himself to see the face of the Lord. And not only that he set himself, but he proclaimed a fast throughout all Judea. That is what Jamaica should be doing. That's what America should be doing. That's what all countries around the world should be doing right now. Seek in the face of the Lord. We are too self-sufficient. Far too time we spend less time seeking the face of the Lord. Because we think we have life's problem. Life problem answer. But this has shown many of us that we don't know what to do. We only can look to God. You know, and verse 18 said, And Joseph had bowed his head in his face to the ground, and, 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 and all Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord. Worshipping the Lord. And the, and the Levites and the children of Korahites and the children of and the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord our God of Israel with a loud voice and high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Joseph had stood and said, Hear me, hear me O Judea, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he believe. So shall he be established. Believe his, his prophet. So shall he prosper. Notice, you know, I want to draw our focus to this verse. It says, believe in the Lord your God. Believe in, which means to put your faith in the Lord. Because God is our way maker. He, God alone can fail us. When he says, so shall he believe so shall he be established. Believe his prophet. So shall he prosper. You notice God said, believe in, the, in, 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 in God, your God. Believe in the Lord, your God. And he said, believe his prophet. Because God doesn't tell us to put our faith in man. God doesn't tell, do not tell his children to put his faith in man. God is saying to us right now, we need to put our faith in the Lord thy God. And you know, when they did that, they, they started to sing and sing praises unto the Lord. You know, God confounded the enemies, the Amorites, the Moabites. In verse 23, it says, And the children of Ammon and the Moabites stood up against the inhabitants of Moshur, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Moshur, everyone helped, helped to destroy one another. You know, God won the battle for them and they didn't even intervene. All they did was see the Lord face. So I'm saying to you this, 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 this morning, if you are fearful, if you are fearful right now, what you need to do is to see the Lord face. Maybe you are worrying about when this will be over. See the Lord face. Maybe you are worrying about how oh, will you eat. May we or will you provide for your children? See the Lord face. You know, I believe God is a way maker and I and I believe that with all my heart. And because Joseph had seen the Lord face, the Bible said in verse thirty, so the rim of Joseph was quiet after the battle was won by the Lord. For his God gave him rest round about. This is a devotional. I'm, I don't want to, to go over time. So I want to say that God can give his people rest. God can give you rest. God can give me rest. If you're not saved, Jesus Christ wants to give you rest. If you're not saved and you're listening to this this morning, Jesus Christ wants to give you rest. And you can turn to him and call upon him. And said, Lord, I need rest. I need deliverance from my sin. Because God is willing to give whoever call upon him rest. The Bible said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I tend to love that verse. I can't stop quoting it. Because when I call upon God, God did save me. And he can do the same for you. But for you who are believers, just like what God gave Joseph at rest, he wants to give you rest. And I, I'm challenging all of us this week to spend time 
seeking the Lord face. And if it needs to be, God is saying you to go on fasting, go on fasting. Seek the Lord face. You know, I love the word of God. I, I can't stop saying that because when, 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 when God's word speak to life challenges, sometimes we forsake it because we, we are more confident in what in what, what Angie Owens can do or what some other leaders of other country. And I'm not saying we shouldn't appreciate their work. But in this time, what we need to be doing is seeking the Lord face. And, I, and, I, and, and my, my, one of my mentor, we have been seeking the Lord face and we have seen God answering prayers. So I'm challenging you to seek the Lord face right now. Seek his face. God wants to give his beloved rest. Maybe you don't believe that, but God wants to give you rest. So let's pray. Father, your word says it's better to put your confidence in God than to put your confidence in man. So Lord, we come before you, Lord. We seek your face. Lord, I pray that you speak to our hearts. Allow the Holy Spirit to, 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 to lead us as we seek your face throughout this week. Lord, we ask that you intervene in this COVID-19. ask that you may speak to our hearts encourage our hearts i remember the disciples where while they were in the boat they were with the lord jesus christ who is god and they were fearful jesus asked them why are they fear so fearful because he was with them but lord we sometimes as your people we forget the god that who you are and go after other things but lord Turn our focus back on you. And help us to know that we serve the sovereign God of this universe. The one who controls every single thing in this world. And nothing happen by chance. Nothing can happen without your, your permission. So Lord, we come before you, seeking your face and asking that you heal our land. Heal the world from this COVID-19. So that your people may rest in you. And if anyone doesn't know you, Lord, may they find rest in you. Father, continue to keep us. Give us strength. Provide for those who lack. Be with them. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to say God bless your heart. And I hope this word would have challenged you to, to see the Lord, to find rest. And, and just to, to reflect upon God. Because I believe God is faithful. And I believe that God is, is willing to... To intervene in this world is willing to intervene in our nation and and what we need to do you know is not find a solution but to find time with god find time to spend on our knees praying if you can't go on your knees it's okay to sit and pray but see the lord face May God bless your heart, bless you, and may God bless you and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.